All right. Hello. Um, could you please tell us uh, about your project, what are you building, and what the ecosystem? Yes. Uh, so I'm working for Neon EVM. I'm integration lead for Neon EVM, and we are basically um, EVM abstraction on Solana, which uh, actually means that uh, we give access to EVM developers to Solana ecosystem. Uh, and we are EVM compatible, which means that you can deploy your EVM smart contracts on non EVM and get advantage of um, Solana ecosystem. Um, mm -hmm. Some use cases like uh, ac accessing Solana liquidity is uh, one of our most used use case. Mm -hmm. And in general, we are an EVM abstraction. Uh, that lives in Solana, mm -hmm. so it's not a layer two. It's mm -hmm. probably a layer one point five or something like that. Okay. Uh, the same is like uh, what Neon EVM for Solana is what uh, Aurora is for Near. Okay. So we are like a smart contract in Solana. We are not a layer two. Okay. Right. Great. Yeah. And uh, could you please um, introduce us to uh, some of the latest milestones that you have achieved? Yes. Uh, one of the biggest milestones we are currently working on and we have deployed recently on DevNet and we're testing is uh, general composability. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned to you, our first initial use case was um, that you can use SPL tokens on Neon EVM in the, forms, in the form of ERC20 uh, interface, but we want to achieve general uh, interoperability because right now it's only limited to SPL token program. Uh, Currently, uh, the new upgrade um, of Neon will allow developers to interact with any smart contract. Uh, it will come, uh, the first version will come a little bit limited because of uh, some security issues and uh, some, some things that, uh, you know, should not be over-engineered and we prefer mm -hmm. to always start uh, 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 small and then uh, upgrade our features and, uh, but, uh, Developers will be able, for example, um, to uh, swap tokens from Neon EVM on Radium, on uh, mm -hmm. other DEXs, and uh, maybe opening positions on, on some lever uh, leverage positions on some DEXs. Mm -hmm. And this opens up um, uh, new possibilities of use cases. Well, for example, uh, yield aggregators or DEX aggregators mm -hmm. on Neon EVM can include not only protocols on non EVM, but they can also include protocols on Solana, mm -hmm. which means that the end user will have more reachability and uh, mm -hmm. to a lot of more projects. Uh, let's say uh, you want to uh, swap uh, uh, one one meme coin, and uh, you can go through an index aggregator on Neon that can basically route through, uh, route you to the DEX that has most liquidity. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if this DEX is on Neon or it's in Solan. All right. So at first, just currently you're working on the ease onboarding of developers and developers will eventually ease onboarding of new users. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's why we are attending the hackathon here. So we are trying to build the tools for developers and set the foundations for them um, to build new dApps and new use cases around our tools. Uh, for example, uh, in this hackathon, we had um, uh, uh, we had uh, a, a prize for using our Neon Transfer SDK. Neon Transfer SDK is a toolkit that actually enables um, transfer of assets between Solana and Neon EVM. But this is not a bridge. It's actually um, a tool that helps you uh, encode the right instructions and basically prepare the right metadata and parameters in order to be able to do that. So it's not a bridge, it's completely trust, tr trustless, so uh, anyone could use it. This is one part of our tool. The other is we have a lot of tutorials. For example, this um, ERC20 for SPL that we call it is this uh, ERC20 token that is actually an SPL token and uh, people can deploy it uh, and uh, it can be used on both chains. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Oh, 
Uh, what do you think about the Web3 industry in general? Like uh, uh, here on Ethereum Belgrade, what do you feel? Like what's the vibes in the community? Do we have a new inflow of users? And what do you think? Like, yeah, what, what do you feel? Um, to be honest, I'm very optimistic about Web3. Um, we are in very early stage, so still um, um, the adoption is uh, yet to come, but it's a really, really important time for the whole industry because uh, I think that uh, even if we started, um, you know, some people think that bull market has started, you know, but it doesn't feel really like bull market because when a bull market starts, uh, no one concentrates on technology, no one concentrates, everyone concentrates on price, on speculation, mm -hmm. on making right. money. But I think that currently it's different between uh, from different years. A lot of people, I can see a lot of new builders, a lot of new people trying to build the foundation, the infrastructure that will allow the next uh, 1 billion users to come uh, to, to, to blockchain. And also we can see also not willingness only from builders and developers, but we can see willingness from um, uh, big institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, uh, ETFs, uh, uh, BlackRock is stepping in, you know, all institutions are stepping in and uh, also uh, legal frameworks in a lot mm -hmm. of countries are starting to adopting crypto and regulate and put a framework around crypto, which will make uh, everyone's lives easier. Mm -hmm. um and um yeah i think uh, crypto adoption will be slow but steady mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, you know i i don't think that the real bull market has actually came because uh, um in terms of users i think new users are coming but uh the most important thing is is the technology ready for the new batch of users that is going to come? And there are a lot of, uh, you know, new uh, tools and uh, new scaling solutions that uh, can um, help in, mm -hmm. in, in adoption. Oh, yeah. We'll see, like, we will build and slowly, slowly, we will make the foundation stronger. And suddenly it's going to be a huge spike and stress test for the whole space and we'll see how it goes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for the talk. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye.